Hi, how are you doing, Cancer? Man, oh man, oh man, how are you doing, Cancer? I really hope you're having a wonderful day. I really hope you're having a blessed day. This is your reading for uh, October 18th to so October 23rd. I really hope this reading finds you well, and uh, let's get through your reading. What does uh, Cancer need to know for this coming week? <laughs> uh, with the three of pentacles, I feel like um, at this time, it's necessary. It's necessary for you. <sighs> All right, I really want to give you guys the best reading. It's just it feels like I'm running out of time. But for some people, it might be like, "Oh, what is time really? Time is." 1219 <laughs> Anyway, uh you get a three of uh pentacles. Uh surround yourself with like minded people. I feel like um there might be people who are trying to help you to really come to a close. People who see you doing what you're doing and they wanna support you, they wanna assist you. Uh with the three of pentacles, I feel like uh you're going to be uh, in an environment where you all are fighting for the same rope or just uh both of you or just all of you are just fighting to make a bigger picture and uh, i feel like it's going just allow others to help you because it's going to allow you to rest and relax uh you have the magician what is telling me that you have all the tools to manifest what you want at this time but be careful of what you manifest of what you're trying to bring to life because it might it really um it might really um you can manifest some things that you know just sometimes they don't quite get no you know just be careful of what you manifest you know that's what i'm trying to say with the five of wands I, I get a sense of um there might be you might be new at something you might be um new to the ideas that are coming in for you uh the environment uh it might be a bit too conflicted you know everybody might be a bit too um troublesome or just there might be some different ideas that are coming in at the time i feel i get a sense of combat training i don't know what that goes for i just feel like they, they just like some training might be taking place but you know just trying to uh keep your mind focused on what you're doing um yeah it, it let others help you uh if you feel like you need help if you feel stuck you know it's i feel like there's no uh, defeat in this it's more of a learning lesson it's a learning curve uh for some it might be quite you know um hard to deal with hard to process when everything is being thrown at you at the same time but just trying to analyze what is in front of you and uh be strategic as you move on forward Balance out, balance out your work and play time. Try and balance that out. What does Cancer need to know? There might be a relationship that's starting out. Um, at this time, I feel like um, there is no movement. Things feel stuck. In just like there is no progress taking place. You know, there is no. Yeah, there is no movement. But it just feels like it feels more of a love situation where you might be trying to get committed with somebody or just trying to get loyal, more official with somebody, and it just feels like right now is not a time to just go off i feel like um um at this time it's about time you know you hold your love back try to study about the person or the situation you might be going into uh person you might be dealing with uh just give them some time you know just get to know them as they're trying to get to know you um You might be having to walk away, or just somebody might be a bit.
skeptical of you you might be dealing with somebody who's a bit more you know just skeptical of you uh just just yeah just a bit skeptic three of wands uh get a sense of i want to say the satisfaction and satisfied with what you got or where you are it feels quite you know um not good enough you know uh and, and i feel like uh, you might be you might be immobile and you hate that you're having to do some inner work new journey is coming in to really take you for the better you might be not traveling and you you being put in a place in a in a box in a i don't know why i said a box but you just i feel like once once you get to really move once you get to travel you, you will really get to really um have that satisfaction again it just feels like right now uh, as you are being immobilized it just you can't really um move wherever you want to go or just to where you want to go it just feels like you don't like it as much but that's because you have to do some inner work within yourself you know you just sometimes you got to do the work you know just by yourself and deal with other things you know it's not always moving sometimes it's always sometimes it's thinking you know sometimes yeah sometimes not physical movement sometimes your mind just gotta travel to you know assess what's in your life or just how you're dealing with your life you know it's not yeah with a fool um i get a sense of um um with a fool, I really get a sense of uh, new fields, new energies, new uh, experiences, new friends also being made. I really get a sense of a new life that's being experienced. It's going to be a bright new day. Uh, I feel like this might be happening at 12 p.m., 12 for somebody. And uh, it might be something that starts out at midday and it ends in the afternoon because in the afternoon I really see your day moving on for the better. I don't know what day this is, but I really feel like um, I really get a sense of um, it, it's going to be something brand new. You're feeling just new, really new. And um, in the afternoon, your whole life will be moving on for the better, so much better. It's just like uh, sometimes you got to do that in a walk, you know. Yeah, you know, some it might be some people might be doing paperwork where you can't move because you're doing paperwork. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go for everybody. At the same time, five of ones, five of ones, five of ones, five of ones, five of ones. I don't know why it won't leave away. Uh, Knight of Cups. I feel like there might be somebody who uh, has passion for you, drive for you. Uh, somebody who's just pursuing you, just looking forward to pursue you. And with the five of wands, I feel like this person might be a bit conflicted about you. Uh, this person might be uh, seeing you as somebody who stands out out of everybody else. Um, yeah, yeah, but but what I see is just talking with a page of uh once it's just uh, this person might be coming in to talk to you uh verbally face to face and uh, with a five of wands i just feel like serious people serious characters that have something to offer not not okay well i can't say the best of the best but not like at the maximum of their potential but it's just like you're trying to come to a resolution and just you, both of you are fighting for the same thing it's just like both of you or i mean all of you have something different to offer just trying to hear others out or just trying to see what others others uh others where their strength lie and their weaknesses lie you could be feeling heartbreak because, well, if you compare yourself to others, it's not, it's not going to feel so good. Because like I said, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. What this person might be hiding and just feeling like it's all jacked up in terms of strength, I feel like in yours, you might feel bad because they're not fully showing you the full-on picture. So do not even be having these fears. If this is a business setting where uh, people there is somebody who is really smarter than you and they just... 
smarter than you and just they're throwing their ideas out there and it's kind of like damn you know i feel bad for myself but why you know you have your own strengths it's just like you never had the opportunity to present them. just keep the ball rolling keep it going you're gonna have something to offer you're gonna have your part you're gonna have your um your duty your job uh whatever you're doing you might be seeing others who are quite you know just conflicted and they just want to throw things there and you're having your fears because you don't fit in it's just like it doesn't matter you have your role and you're gonna get a chance to play your role it's just right now you gotta be part of the picture because you are needed you know the team can be a team without you and well a team can you know but yeah just ha have that courage to really shed your old skin let go of the buttons you're holding on to and you know become better become even stronger become more even bolder you know and one thing you're gonna realize one thing you're gonna realize is if you let this pain get to you it's gonna really feel quite disastrous however i feel like you really can you clarify this cause? I feel like follow the leader for some reason. But try to step into your leadership position. Try to step into your leadership position. If you can feel pain and hide it and just keep on going, you're going to be leading a lot of people. Because damn well, you're not the only person who feels this pain. We all do. However, have courage and strength to be the one who keeps on walking when you feel beat down. That's going to create happiness not only for yourself, but for others and everybody around you. They're going to be seeing you as a reliable source. They're going to be seeing you as a reliable foundation. They're going to be seeing you as somebody who can make something more strong and bolder. Whatever service, whatever duty you're providing is quite necessary. It's quite needed to those around you. Uh, I feel like you're bringing a balance to people's lives. Uh, I feel like this is... I feel like, yeah, I feel like people really need you. People really need you. And as this is uh, what I said to, I don't, I don't remember who, what sign I said it to. Learn to be a leader and uh, other times learn to be a follower. And at this time, I feel like th there is a time where this is about time you really become a leader. Show up, show, show up and really show your uh, show yourself that you really deserve that leadership position. Show yourself that you deserve to be, you know, where you are. Because you have blessings coming in. You might be having to really be a bit more reactive rather than keeping things to yourself. And that's going to bring in uh, emotional satisfaction and emotional happiness. Just don't keep it to yourself. Always, always strive to be better because you have offers and opportunities coming in. And get out of your head. Get out of your head. It's about time to react. It's about time to really take action because, you, like I said, you have offers coming in, offers, opportunities coming in. React. Take passion by the horns. And I feel like that would be my last one. You have nothing to worry about. Your financial problems are taken care of. Yes, you might be giving a bit too much to others. However, you need to really realize. Uh, you know, people people around you might be really uh, draining of you. People around you might be um, draining your energy, uh, Phil. Uh, or just whatever job duty you might be providing people, you might be giving to people more than uh, you're receiving. And with a page of swords, I feel like that's where you need to realize where you might be, you know, just giving too much and kind of bring it back. And uh, with the two of cups, just uh, take care of yourself, not yourself, and um, show yourself that self-love because you have all your issues and problems taken care of.
and uh, is there anything um, cancer needs to know? Get out of your head. It feels like there is, yeah, you're feeling pain. However, unless you react to that pain and walk after it, you're not going to get out of it. You're not going to get out of it. If you feel stuck, be your own savior. Be your own person. And wherever you need help, beg the universe for help. But where I see this, the universe is giving you a push to keep moving forward. And with the strength, God, you feel pain, we all do. But who has courage to move on, away from that pain? To just rebuild themselves after they feel destroyed? Because with the star card, you see, you're being seen high and mighty. So live up to that. Because people are seeing you as a star. Shoot for the stars. Don't stop by the moon. Shoot for the stars and land on the stars. Keep going. Shoot for the stars and land on the stars. Because once you land on the moon, you become the moon. I mean, Cancer, you guys are ruled by the moon, but still. Shoot by the stars. You got reached your expectations. You got reached your full on potential. Even better than your potential. Just keep on going. You have a lot to offer. You're not being put in this position for nothing. Live up to it. Thank you, Cancer. Have a nice one.